Hey, 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 what's up everybody? GG is back for the uh, final episode of the evening. I hope everybody's been doing well. hope everybody's been enjoying their time. I know I have. I ended up uh, taking some time and making up some of that uh, stir fry that I was talking about here for the last couple of days. And I cannot believe the amount of quantity that came out of all that. So I got food for a long time. I ended up putting stuff into the freezer <laughs> in order to save it. So I am looking forward to that. But guys, we got about two and a half minutes. Get your drinks, get your butts, get your snacks. And get yourself in the comfiest position. Because we are going to kick back, relax, unwind, and enjoy another amazing simulator game on the channel. So for all those who are just tuning in with us, this is an early access look at Bakery Shop Simulator coming to us from the hands of the DNA army folk now they have uh, reached out to us and we have reached out to them we're going to do our best for them as they're doing the best for us in order to uh, get the content coverage out there for us so if you guys haven't already right down in my description there you'll find yourself a link to the store page and if you are interested in this game wish list it now that helps the developer get up on the steam home page as well as uh, gives them that free publicity that they so deserve for working so hard on these titles here so as you guys know my channel right now currently has uh, their entire lineup on there we have the vegetaria we have their uh, factory runner is going to call it factory Man manager that's coming later uh, i have a uh, falafel restaurant played that earlier hey lisa welcome 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 and we also have a trader's life simulator and we have this one baking life simulator or baker shop bakery shop simulator so five titles all courtesy of dna army so i hope you're doing well lisa i hope you are having yourself a wonderful evening so far looking forward to uh, continuing on hey christy you know guys phone's just about done his playthrough there so i recommend you guys go over there and make sure you catch the ending because you want to see the excitement in his voice you want to see it <laughs> uh, when he sees his beautiful name coming up down in those credits there so i fully endorse going over there giving that man the thumbs up and giving him the due for all the hard work that he's put into that mr prepper series for sure so uh we are going to be uh working uh, towards uh, getting the chocolate stuff here today Oh, nice, Lisa. Doing both. You got phone in one hand, tablet in the other. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank you, Christy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I am really excited about getting into this one here. I'm really enjoying these. Uh, the, the, the three main ones here I'm really enjoying is that falafel restaurant. Um, uh, controls on there. A little bit wonky for me, but we're getting used to it. Getting used to it. Uh, bakery shop, of course. This one's been just fantastic. And... I don't know how, how many months we're going to be playing Trader's Life Score. It, I, I'm just loving it so much. But let's get into the game. Hey, Marilyn. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had yourself a wonderful and an amazing Easter weekend. I know that we definitely did here. Tell you what, folks, we're going to go ahead here and let's put on some softer music today. We've been uh, doing the rock music for the last couple of streams. There we go. Let's just get something a little bit more on the relaxed side and we will continue on with our playthrough. So has anybody OD'd on chocolate yet? Has anybody had that feeling that, you know, it's like, oh man, even though I, I just brushed my teeth, I should probably brush them again. They're not sugar. All that sugar. Hmm. GG's been good. Uh, I, I, I had a sucker. <laughs> I, I had a lollipop. <laughs> As my son would call them. And I enjoyed it. Every minute of it. Alright, so we are just starting up in the day. Where's the time? 7am. Uh, Excellent. So we're going to have some orders coming in. Uh, we got a baguette here. Yep. What else do we have boxed up? Uh, bun glaze. Biscuit cake. We got two biscuit cakes. Oh my goodness. And a uh, uh, putski. All right. Okay. Come on in, customers. Come on in. Doors open. Hi, buddy. You'd like a biscuit cake? We got one of them. You'd like an oat cookie? I got a lot of those. And you would also like a putski. All right. That's a quick and easy order. We'll get this one out the door for this fine young man. He's got a wife and kid at home that are waiting for him. 
thank you please come again come again any day all right so let's go over here and grab another punchki that's up here yes we'll just slap that bad boy right down there now where we last left off was that we are trying to get to the chocolates so we've gone and stacked our shelves fully 100 percent still missing one in that back corner over here not sure that's intended or not but we've purchased all the upgrades that we can or all the ingredients that we can please thank you come by anytime that's right Ooh. well hello there sir there you go i think i got that one and you'd like a biscuit cake well i do have another one of those already pre-boxed up for you there sir and you'd like to have a bun glaze i got one of those and an italian loaf bread sir that is a fantastic choice There you go, sir. Thank you very much for shopping at Caveman's Bakery, where anything you want could go atomic. Ta -da -ta -da. I'm on your main PC with two tabs open. Very nice. Very nice indeed, indeed. Ah. There we go. That's better. We're starting to get rid of all the extra unis that we had. But you know what? We'll just take you. And we'll put you back over here oh thank you enjoy the slurpee sir i'm loving it i'm so i so want to hold on uh, oh, i can't sit on the job all right uh bun glaze sure and a biscuit cake what was the last item that you would like uh gingerbread man oh ho ho your children must love you sir Oh, your wife's got a big sweet tooth. Actually, you know what, sir? I'm going to take your picture. You're going to be famous, sir. Okay, that was me uh, double twitching as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patronage. Come by anytime. Oh, and thank you very much for the reminder there, Lisa. Or, sorry, Christy. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button there, folks. It helps me out. It helps out any content creator that you watch. If you hit that within uh, the first three minutes of you coming in, as well as leaving comments and uh, watching the videos for a longer period. You betcha, Joe. Totally understand. You take care of the little one, my friend. You take care of that little one. Daddy daycares. Numero uno. Numero uno. I'm glad that you're swinging by. So, yeah, thank you very much for the like reminder. I always forget to do that. Can't tell you what to do, that's for sure. But I can appreciate everything that you do do. So, an oatmeal, an Italian loaf. Oh, that's another excellent choice, sir. And a gingerbread. And a gingerbread. And there you go, sir. They are packed up in extra special packing for you, so you do not have to worry about them being broken by the time you get home. Come by anytime. Let's see. What do we got going on over here? Still got that bag out, right? Yeah. All right. So. Okay, we're good. Please, sir, buy a coffee. How about you, sir? Need a coffee today? You do. Enjoy that coffee, sir. It is the best freezer burnt stuff that you can get on the street. You betcha. It's the only freezer burnt stuff you can get on the street. Now, somebody was telling me you can move this. E. Oh, you can. Well, hello, sir. You'd like a punchki, a bun glaze, and Italian bread. All right. A punchki. Bun glaze. Uh, didn't pull any of those out. You can grab it from over here, though. Yeah, well. Don't think you want oatmeal. My fat fingers flicked Oh, uh, sorry, what was that again? A bun glaze? An Italian bread, alright. Italian bread, sir. And this is a bun glaze, right? Yeah, it's a bun glaze. And here you go, sir. All freshly boxed so you can make it home. Stay fresh and convenient for you and your family. 
Clickety, 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 click. Thank you, sir. That's only uh, a 10% uh, 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 upcharge for you coming in so late tonight. Supposed to be here before 8 a.m., my friend. It's 10 o'clock. You're late. Oh, wow. Streamlabs jumped in early today. Nice. Welcome, Streamlabs. Oh, look at this. We got more peeps coming in, grabbing coffee and juice. Woo! Extra sales without using any internals here. Gotta like that. Oh, hi, sir. Oh, you want a biscuit cake, not a cookie? Oh, you know, the cookies are good, sir. Uh, Italian loaf and Italian bread. Oh, right on. Good choices, sir. That'll take care of you. So your loaves are cut in half, so they fit inside the box absolutely perfectly. I'd be happy it's not a bagel, sir, or a baguette. we got to cut those things down into three in order to get them to fit in our packages. So there you go, sir. Thank you. Come by. Anytime. Come again. I just got hit with a couple of Discord messages here. Let me just take a look here. Answered. All right, back to the game. Woo, just in time for another bun glaze. Going out the door. I'm sorry, sir. We have to package it. You can't eat it right now. It, 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 just due to federal health guidelines, we're not allowed to do that. So, just to let you know. You can't eat it here in store. But I would be more than happy to get you a punski. Uh -huh. Like so, sir. You didn't order a biscuit cake. Oh, you wanted a bun glaze. Whoops. I'm sorry, sir. My, my reading skills failed me on that one, sir. <laughs> there you go. Come by anytime. Bring your wife and kids next time. Maybe you'll buy more. <laughs> We're having a sale on today. Only plus 20%. It's called the tax man cometh. Oh, I'm loving it too, Christy. I really am. I would like to see some lady models, though. Not overly done. Not, uh... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, accentuated in, uh, the ways that they don't need to be. Alright, sir. Bun glaze. Everybody seems to like these bun glazes. Did you hear that there, uh, Master Chef? Did you hear that? Everybody loves your bun glazes. Uh, a gingerbread man. Ooh, good choice, sir. Let me just go grab some for you. Some fresh ones. And an Italian loaf bread. Oh, this, this is a very popular bread, sir. There you go, sir. Have yourself your, uh, your lovely breads. Your amazing treats. And I will pass on the compliments to the Master Baker. Uh, what do we got here? A biscuit cake and an oatmeal cookie. Not too many oatmeal cookies here. Come on, order six oatmeal cookies. It is what it is. Why? Why? What it is. Good song. Ah, here we go. Oh, thank you very much. $258. We might be able to buy that equipment and such tonight. Ooh, a, a bun? Ways? Well, we got those. That's a biscuit. Oh, no, no, no. Gotta go grab another tray of them, sir. They are a hot commodity on this place. Oh, 
What was that that you wanted, sir? A baguette and a gray bread. We can do those. You see how small we can make these baguettes, sir? For you, we'll cut it into three. Easy transport. Thank you for uh, recycling and not uh, using plastic bags. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at that, $289 already, love it, love it. I'm just loving how good the shelf looks back here. As you can tell from the uh, main uh, screen here, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, it'll happen, it'll happen right after this one. You can see that the bakery was a different um, configuration altogether. You can see how it had this really long counter and all that. I think that's pretty cool where it's at today. I like this. I like having behind the counter type stuff. Well, good day, sir. Good day. You would like to have a biscuit cake, an Italian loaf, and an oat cookie. Well, we do have the oat cookies already pre prepared for you, sir. A biscuit cake as well. And I'll get that Italian loaf for you. Fresh out of the oven at some point. And. Oh. Thank you. Come again someday, sir. Please return for your patronage. Don't mind me, folks. Ah, I got the heating pad wrapped around my legs with the belt again. <sighs> I needed the uh, time off in between the streams there to make a couple of phone calls, and then I started cooking on that stir-fry, and I was on my feet for way too long cooking the stir-fry. I really need to get one of them there, portable rolling stools for the kitchen. It's getting tougher and tougher for me to be standing around for more than half an hour on my feet. Um, one second. Uh, not really. And here we go. It says gingerbread man, oat cookie, and a baguette. Well, thank you very much, sir, for enjoying our oatmeal cookies. Are you sure you wouldn't like to take a, a dozen? Just a dozen. Come on. Oh, all right. Just the one. Trying to watch your figure, are you? Well, of course I said your figure, sir. I did not say your wife's figure. Please, don't take rude tone with me. Huh? I would never say that about a lady. Because your wife, well, she's a lady, sir. Otherwise, we call them life partners. <laughs> I gotta have fun with it. Gotta have some fun with it. See what do we got going on here? Three hundred and forty-three dollars. Uh, what do we got going over here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Praise. Okay, we got we we got what we're supposed to have over here. And so basically, I'm going to try filling up all these shelves to the top like we had there at the end of every night. These one extras and all that they'll be gone. Same with over here and up there as well. Oh, good day, sir. Good day. Uh, did you know that your shoulder pads are tucked into your arms? Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, not, not being rude, sir. Just you know, pointing out an obvious fact. Uh, a baguette, a French bread, and a biscuit cake. We can do all that. So we'll give you that baguette, sir. The French bread and... French bread. <laughs> Mon ami, have yourself some French bread, please? Okay. And last but not least, sir, we got your treats right here, right here in these boxes, sir. So we got one of anything left? Nope. Good evening, meat. Hey, oh. Oh, tea, I am. Hey, tea. <laughs> we'll go T. <laughs> I'm horrible at names. <laughs> I'm pretty good at a lot of things, but name ain't one of them. And Meat Eater, how you doing? Charlotte, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice, good to see you. Uh, one second, I got another message coming in. Uh, hey, let's see, biscuit cake and a bag yet. Well, we can do the biscuit cake. Baguette. 
And an oatmeal cookie. Oh, fantastic. I'm so glad people are loving these oatmeal cookies. Uh, no, we don't want to skip going home. All right, we've got to get that checked as well. I keep forgetting to mention that in the uh, bug reports and suggestions that if you do not aim correctly at the machine, if you have anywhere within the hitbox of the door, you are going to be asked every time. You want to go home? No, I got sales to do today. That's okay. We'll just dance. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, you're good? Oh, excellent. I know that we're doing fantastic. Uh, we're having a, such an amazing community here. They let us know when they're having a rough day. And when their spirits are down, we boost them back up again. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Look at that. Two out of the four syndicate crew is here. And if you are interested in knowing who the syndicate crew is, join us every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern as we go live and have some fun. Some calamities and uh, well just an all-around good time starting your weekend off right so this gentleman like a baguette a gingerbread and an Italian bread good choices sir good choices these have been fresh out of the oven at some point uh, well just read the box sir it'll tell you everything you need to know about nutritional and content values for you Thank you, thank you, and thank you once again. Uh, what you missed, Gigi? Uh, not too much, actually. We're just trying to get through a little bit of our uh, inventory. And then at the night times, we want to see if we can afford some new equipment. Hey, Max! Yo, 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 yo! How you doing tonight, man? Oh, Sherry, you're back! Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope that was a quick and safe trip for you. No pop tires, no flats, no nothing, doing good. Dazza, welcome, my man, welcome. And let's rip through this here. So, a punchki? We can get you a punchki. And what else would you like? You'd like another oatmeal? Ooh, oatmeal cookies. Good choice, sir. That's my favorite right here of this whole entire shelf. And an Italian loaf bread. All right. Let's... Uh... Make some room for that for you, sir. Oh, that's an Italian bread. That's not Italian loaf. Whoops. Uh, we'll just put you here. Uh, that's an Italian loaf. Oh, Italian loaf is going to be extra popular today. Put the big box over here. Still got at least another 30 seconds for this gentleman, right? I can move slower, sir. I could, but I know you're in a hurry. You want to get these off to your loved ones at home. So you can be the hero when you arrive. Go ahead, sir. Take the credit. Hey, you, 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 you get a high, you get a high, you get a high, you get a high, everybody gets a high, and no, this isn't a drug house. <laughs> Rock and roller, hey, welcome. Yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to come off sounding rude on the, uh, the text message, or the, uh, the Discord there, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of like, um, okay, before we get a long conversation going, like we do, <laughs> yeah, better let you know, I'm streaming at the moment. Uh, a gingerbread and a biscuit cake, shall we? All right. Oh, look at that, sir. You get the very last one of the freshest of the fresh cookies that we have. Congratulations. Your wife is going to love it. And a baguette. Well, you know, that's just a great day for a party. Add some of that there uh, cheesy um, spinach chips, and you are good. That Philadelphia cream cheese. Oh, yes, yes, please, 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 please. Now you're going to have to tune in next stream. Oh, no worries there, meat. Hey, man, just thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you for the like. You're awesome. You betcha, Sherry. You betcha. Spiderette Gary. Welcome, boys and girls. Bone coming in. Hey, everyone. Glad you're supporting our own Canadian of the syndicate. Yeah, that's me. Woo, woo. North of the 49. Woo, woo. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> 49th parallel yeah the bermuda triangle of canada uh let's see here oh dude dude you are you are a superstar work it boy work it there you go um you're holding on to your bun glazes all right well that would be one of you oh whoops i didn't realize i had another one up there but that's fine we can do this i'll take a bun glaze set you down 
Gray bread and an oatmeal cookie. Good choice, sir. Oatmeal cookies. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Today's favorite, sir. Today's favorite. Here you go, all packaged up. As you can see, packaged with TLC tender love and cookings. And uh, I'm sorry, sir, but we are on an environmental kick. We do not have any napkins. Careful that you don't get stuff in your beard. I mean, we do call them a cookie duster for a reason. Uh, do I have any more biscuits? No, I don't have any biscuits. Biscuit cake. I suppose we should probably grab some of them there, gingers. Oh, I love having that uh, passive income. Those machines were a heck of a steal of a deal. Get them early while you can, folks. Hit that like button. Okay, here we go. Hey, Mike, uh, saw the credits on Bones 13 streams, and you were one of the two folks under Playtester shown. Huzzah! Yes, I was. Both Bone and I, uh, uh, both Bone and myself, have been playing this game, or Mr. Prepper, for a very, 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 very long time. Um, I would say that we were probably within one of the, the very beginnings uh, helping out that uh, particular developer uh, playtesting and uh, promoting content for it. So they were very kind enough to allow us the early access exclusivities. So uh, uh, we were happy to uh, do our best that we could to uh, bring in additional sales to get the promotion going on with the game and that as well. So. Thank you once again to Rejected Games. Oh, apparently we can't sell the sign. Or the, the, the stand. That was interesting. Told me to pack up the stand. But I don't want to pack up the stand. It's my friend. Yeah, that's right. The least known playtesters. No. <laughs> yeah, you betcha, Christy. Puppies come first. So, Bone, do you feel the sense of accomplishment you got yourself? I believe this is your first complete series on YouTube. How's it feel? How's it feel? Yeah, I, I was sad too. That's why I, I, I was saying I'm going to have to return back to it and we're going to have to make it bigger. And better and more beautiful. Um, definitely, after seeing your end in there with all the senior staff, that was uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, a little jelly, just a little jelly. All right, some Italian loaf. We'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, guy off break. He could start uh, working that out. We're almost at end of day anyway. Surprised that we didn't sell as much of the gray bread as we normally would. Hmm. Hmm. We have too many delicious, tasty treats here, apparently. So with that being the case, then what we're going to do is we are going to fill up these shelves again, uh, just to the bottom, and we'll slowly go through what we have going on here. And we'll make another one of them there Italian loaf orders for us. Because, yeah, we want to make a couple of these, uh, uh, what are they called again? Bis no, fun glaze? Fun glaze. Wink. How many more are we going to have to make? On the looks of it, just one more. Okay. How's it going, Master Chef? Oh, I'm sorry, Master Baker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, there's just so much connotation with that, you know? Come on. I don't know why it's a so much contention for you. All right, can I get one of those uh, 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 glazes, please? Bun glazed. Thank you very much, my man. Thank you. Now, let's come over here and take a look at the equipment. After we buy our ingredients, we're going to buy one of everything to make sure that they're into the 30s now. Because we're going to do another day of sales. And we want to be well, well, well prepared. Did I just hear somebody dinging or is that the... Uh, no, that would be the most amazing uh, Master Baker coming at us. In stock, in stock. Just one second and there we go. 
All right, so that brought us down to 230 bones. That's not bad. Need more breaker? At yeah, no, I got uh, I got one here, and then I got a whole stack of them over here. So I got my my breads over here. I got my delicious goodies over here. That's just how I'm rocking it for now. And there we go. I think. Let's see. So that's topped up. What about gingerbread? Uh, I could probably do another gingerbread. Uh, gingers. Gingers. Oh, come on. You're one of my kind. Let's cook up some gingers. Gingerbreads and oatmeal cookies. Yum, 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 yum. I'm more of a ginger snap kind of guy. It's got that bite. That snap. Mm, love it. You should have the factory up and running before end of the second month. Only need 37,000 in the Lumberjacks Dynasty. Very nice. I guess it takes one master baker to know another. <laughs> it might just be. might just be. Uh, doesn't have to be over. There's the 30-day challenge and the one-year challenge. Lots to do. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that one-year challenge. I'm thinking about maybe bringing the series on as a... Uh, um, uh, like a like all day event type things that type of stuff. We shall have to see what my my time schedule is going to be looking like here in the future. Uh, oh, folks, yeah, uh, my hearing. Uh, I got a phone call. Well, I, I can't say I called the doctor's office and uh, found out that yes, they do have an opening tomorrow, so I can go in and uh, get my hearing checked here. My left side is going really fast, so. I'm not sure whether or not it's got something to do with like when I had some water on the ear many years ago and you know I kind of went almost completely deaf in that left ear from it but uh, I cannot wait to find out what they say tomorrow I'm hoping it's just like oh yeah we'll do an ear wash you'll be fine afterwards otherwise yeah I um, don't want old age creeping up on me don't want to be sitting there with a hearing aid unless it's Bluetooth and can attach to a receiver on my computer <laughs> Did you know that the baking soda packets are training their children to be police officers? Yeah, they're raising agents. <laughs> love it, Bone, love it. Uh, you still have nine achievements to get, but one is the tutorial. The year one could be interesting. I lasted 123 days. You still need to get all the plants. I'm at that one too. I have not been able to get that one there. Bone, I have 13 out of the 14. I'm missing one plant. I don't know where it was. I checked with Bob the plant. I did everything in Jenny's. Uh, the, but the only two things I, I don't remember checking might be the mine in Bob's level 5 and level 2. Or was it level 1? Whatever, wherever the levels are that Bob goes into both sets. Uh, as well as uh, Joe. I didn't look to see if there was any plants around Joe's place. So... Uh, you've been saving all the dyed wood already for the factory. Nice. Yeah, you'll want to do that, my man. You'll want to do that. And it's uh, yeah, yeah. All the dried wood. I know what you're saying, though. I got you. I got you back, Daz. I got you back. Quiche is like the fool's gold of the baking world. When you see it, you think it's pie, right? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> you would think it's pie. You would. You honestly would. Oh, hot chocolate, not a sponsor, should be. Alright. Now that we're down to 230 smackaronis, I don't think we can fit any more breads in there on that shelf. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I take you. There is a spot right there. Somehow I grabbed it from the wrong place. Alright. That's okay. We got another one that's up here. So that shelf is 100% full. That one's 100% full. All right, come on, come over here. Oh, man, it says we can do another gingerbread. All right, all right. Ain't unless we got to cook later, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I hope we can fit two gingerbreads in there. Otherwise, we got an extra. Let's go back. Yeah, we might be able to squeeze one more in there. Between the oatmeals and the gingerbreads, those are good sellers. It's pie time. Oh, it's puzzle pieces. And yeah, you got me on the last emoji. Not sure what that one is. Trader Life's got another update. Wow, this gentleman is working his arse off, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to give credit to where credit is due. 
We have not seen developers work this hard in a very long time, and yet to be blessed with two small team developers such as Rejected Games and DNA Army? We must be doing something right. Alright, ooh, cookies. Cookies are good. Alright, let's go ahead and go home, and we'll spend the additional 20 bucks. And hopefully today we'll sell enough that we'll have, I'm hoping by the end of the day, then after we stock up our shelves with everything, we'll still have around $500, and then we'll be able to pick up some of that them there uh, uh, chocolate stuff and start working hard on that. Oh yeah, definitely. They are definitely just killing it when it comes to... Uh, to the work end of things, for sure. I just hope that it doesn't kill them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, too, Bone. How many abandoned games and systems or abandoned wares have we gone through in the last, you know, four years? It's been pretty tight. It's been pretty crazy. Yeah. We got to look out for these little guys who, uh, you know, how do we, you know, what's my old saying here? You know, they don't know what they don't know, and trying to learn everything all at once. You know, that's 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 a big burnout waiting to happen and you know, that's the last thing we want to hear for from great amazing teams um, Yeah, so once again, I think if I press start here Darn I was hoping that we would have been able to turn the user interface off on this one as well, but I guess not uh, oh, what's... Ah, Okay, sorry sir just had to make sure that the chair was uh, working properly but a gingerbread cookie, sir, that is a fantastic idea. And a biscuit cake. Oh, well, we got lots of those right here, as you can see. Oh, and the bunglays. Oh, I, I'm guessing that my uh, my uh, 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 display stand here got you hungry, sir. Ooh, let's get this turned this way. Slideways. And have yourself a wonderful day, sir. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Can't count out. Uh, yeah, it's we've been through a lot of developers that have overworked themselves. Hey, mommy bear, welcome back, welcome back. Have you guys finished up your dinners and got the kids all settled already? Ah, you guys are rocking it. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, how come I never see the female customers? Cause they're not in game. And that's uh, we were just mentioning that there too. So that that this this game needs a woman's touch of the model kind. That's for sure. I would love to see the uh, the uh, ladies coming into play here. You know what? Uh, oh man, I just uh, I do not like that that the user interface is in the way there because when I go to cut it out later, it's going to look horrible, horrible. But I'll throw that in there anyway. Yes, sir. Would you like a baguette? Yeah, we can do that. Is the baguette, sir? An oat cookie, even though I've got such a great choice, sir. And a bun glaze, one second. We got some fresh ones coming right up here for you. And before you ask Christy, she is now snoring at my feet. <laughs> she's uh, she's trying to uh, rub us or lay up as close against the heating pad as possible. Because, yeah, my legs are all tied up in the heating pads again today. Speaking of which, I think I gotta turn my back on a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but yeah, I got the heating pad right here. Uh -huh. Reset that because it's going to turn off any moment now. Yeah, I got the I got the belt wrapped around the legs and everything else on there. I'm behaving. So my legs are really really bad the last couple days. So that and it uh, standing up on them to making that stir fry for two hours without taking a break off of them that was that was a bad idea. Hey, Philly, how you doing, my man? Happy Easter Mondays to you, dude. We do it on repeat. This gentleman would like a baguette. We got those in spades. Actually, no, we'll just take that. We'll go. Here you go. And let's see what else he wants. A biscuit cake. And a bun glaze. Oh, excellent choices. Look at all these amazing customers going after the best of the best of the best. The best there ever is. The best there ever was. The best there ever will be. Welcome to the Caveman Bakery Shop. Welcome to the Bakery Shop. You know, you just can't stop. Welcome to the Bakery Shop. Do you nuke the food? Because I'm seeing nuclear symbols all over. Well, if you take a look back there, one of the largest p uh, pieces of equipment we have in the shop is the industrial microwave right there in the back. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Ba -da 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 -da. These items up here say they're baked. 
and they're green. Hmm. Anybody put two and two together? I don't know, man. What you talking about, dude? A French bread, a gray bread, and a baguette. A, a French bread. A gray bread. And la baguette. All for you, sir. All packaged in a nice, clean, crisp, brand new box. Freshness guaranteed to have happened someday this week. There you go. Made with the freshest ingredients. Anybody else? Anybody else got any money they got a pot with? Come on in. Doors open. Thank you so very much, Gary, for coming in with a super sticker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you are part and parcel of the uh, membership crew, make sure you give out the proper, proper, proper loves to the Gary man. And if you're not part of the uh, memberships, then feel free to drop your favorite emoji. Just remember, after I think it's 11 uh, emojis, uh, the uh, bot gets a little pithy and likes to slap your hands. So keep it under 11, but put them as much as you like. Hey, welcome old Biddy. Just stopped by to drop a like. Going to have an early night tonight. My arthritis is giving me fits. I, I can totally understand that. My legs are killing me today. So you take the time that you need in order to feel good so that way you can enjoy tomorrow. Because today is not the day to be pushing. Today is Easter Monday. We are supposed to be taking our time and rolling eggs uphill. Following the Christian traditions, and that's how we got ourselves Easter eggs. It symbolized the rolling of the stones. True story. True story. Yes, you did, Sherry. Just squeaked right back in. You did, you did. Ain't you amazing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are all awesome. 27 current viewers right now. 19 likes. Ho oh, ho! I tell you, this weekend has been absolutely amazing for all of us Syndicate crew. On behalf of them and myself, thank you, thank you, thank you for being such an amazing community. You know, community through unity, I swear to goodness that uh, it was your unity that made us Syndicate the community that we are today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hearts, big loves, big thank yous all around to one and all. Uh, an Italian loaf bread and a French bread, we can do that. So we'll take the Italian loaf. We'll put it over here. We'll take the uh, French. Oh, some French bread with your Italian. And a Pushki. All right, we'll take the Pushki. No, I do not want to go home. I don't want to go home. I want to make money. Don't make me go home. I don't have COVID. You can't prove it. Don't make me go to the doctor. No. Now, what was I going to put out here? I got the French bread. Got the baguette. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, what did it? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We'll take one of the pushkis. And we'll switch over here. Dear customer, please come in and spend some money. Dr. Pepper rules. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. I got about half of this one left from one that I cracked open yesterday. I've been taking my time and sipping gingerly. Oh, well, welcome, customer. Welcome. How can I help you today? Oh, yeah, sure. You can pose for a screenshot any day. Thanks, dude. So an oatmeal cookie. An Italian bread and an Italian loaf. Hmm. You having spaghetti tonight, sir? That's a whole lot of Italian items going on. Who are you trying to impress? Have you got a new lady in your life? Uh, must be pretty awesome because there are no ladies in town. So, you know, just saying. Let him out of the house once in a while. Come on. Whips and chains are supposed to be fun, not a way of life. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Good going. GG. You know, <laughs> I should have, you know, I, I see it in chat all the time, right? Where it's like, hey, GG. And it's like, what? You're know, You're 
Hey, GG, finally made it for a live stream. Glad you could make it. I'm glad that you've been enjoying the uh, the videos lately. Thank you very much for your views. Thank you very much for your likes. And I hope you uh, have yourself a wonderful time tonight. Feel free to converse amongst uh, the chat as well as if you have any questions or anything, we are here to help. If I miss it, I know that my chat are amazing and that uh, the community will make sure that they back me up and get you the information that you would be looking for. And an Italian bread. Oh, it is a great day for those who are on the spaghetti side of the border. Oh, let's come on over here, sir, and we'll uh, pass you out the goodies that you so wanted to order. Freshest as freshest can be. Can't you tell? We just put them in the box for you. Expiry date was yesterday. No worries, sir. Thank you for coming. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll take another tray of these. We'll sit you down here. We'll take another tray of these. Oh, that's not a tray. That's a that's a that's a, that's a load. Uh, take that tray though. And how about we take a gray loaf? Woo! -hoo! I'm hoping by the end of the day we'll have enough to get ourselves some chocolate injectors, as well as uh, fill up these shells with some more goody 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 goodies. Nom 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 nom. Oh, look at you, sir! Look at you coming all in. Oh, old and hipstered. An Italian loaf and a French loaf. We can do that, sir. Here's your Italian loaf. Uh, oh, sorry, what was that? French bread. Ah, I just go through so much baking today, every day, sir, that I just can't remember. We're a busy, busy, busy location. Busiest in this whole block. You won't find any other any other people going in and out of the stores as often as you see at mine. It's all about the coffee machine. It's great coffee. Yeah, sure. By all means, go ahead. Yeah, I'll give you a coupon for a create free coffee every 15... What? Oh, French bread. And I gave him a baguette. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I was so busy, just excited that you were here today. Being in your presence has just got me all discombobulated. There we go. They're happy with what they got. We chatted them up. We made, made things right. Uh, let's see here. We can do this. Something doesn't seem right about that tray. Okay, no, there was something right about that tray. Just something wrong with my eyes, I guess. Love that machine out there. Thank you, thank you. Woo! -hoo. Love passive big gum. Hey Mike, got you on in the background while I rearrange your fans on your new case. You betcha, I heard that you got your new PC coming in. Uh, congratulations, my man. Congrats, congrats, congrats indeed. This gentleman would like some French bread. Gingerbread man and a bun glaze. Alright, we'll take that gingerbread. And that's a biscuit. That's a bun glaze right there. It's Easter Monday. Can you tell everybody's coming in to get themselves some sugary treats? Thank you, sir. Come by any day. 515. Woohoo! At this rate, we're going to have enough to uh, work on some new items tonight. Woohoo! And when we were brainstorming what to call ourselves, we landed on that because we mostly play the simulation games. Yep. No, and that Deuce had a brainwave on that. Yeah, guys, the name is all the brainchild of Deuce. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, give credit where credit is due. Deuce came up with the name... And uh, it, it was instantaneous for me. Like, yeah, yeah, syndicate, syndicate. It just suits. It, it absolutely suits who we are as a group of folks. So, looking into that was uh, it was a good time by all who were involved. Poor Bone had to be at work at the time when we went through it. He really didn't get much of a say in it though. But I think uh, I think he would agree that everything turned out for the best. I do have a baguette right here. All ready to go for you, sir. I knew you were coming, and I want to make your order up as fast as possible. Thank you very much. Come by anytime, sir. I think we're getting pretty close to nailing every single model that's in-game, though. Meanwhile, since I had a good cook spaghetti, all I had in the last three to four months was the canned stuff. Oh, oh, no, Gary, Gary. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There is nothing like fresh homemade pasta with some mm, yeah I, i'm i'm an extra lean ground beef kind of guy because ugh, 
I get the heartburns if I eat too much grease, so definitely. <laughs> Vote. I'm used to having no say. I'm just here for the ride. Ah, sounds like you have kids. <laughs> you can tell them that you're blue in the face. They're going to do what they want. An oatmeal, a biscuit, and a putski. All right. All good choices, sir. I hope that whoever the lady is in your life that you're trying to impress really appreciates you going out of your way to come to the only bakery store on this block and purchasing just the freshest and finest of the greatest ingredients that money has got to offer. And I will take your money, sir, and I will put it to good use for my children's funds. Now, if I ever have kids, I will definitely do that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> The syndicate. Well, it, it, yeah, you've seen some of our content. It could be sinful. <laughs> oh, nice. You got the be quiet. Very nice. Nice. But you don't like the three pin fans in the front? Oh, that's not cool. That's a nice looking case, though. I, I, I always go with the, um, uh, the vertical case. I always prefer to have my hair, hot air just getting blown straight up and out so it does not come through the machine at all. Uh, oat cookie. A gray bread and a gingerbread man. All right, we can do that. And pop the gingerbread muffins. No, we're going to use the gumdrop buttons. Thank you, sir. Come by anytime. Did I miss a question? Cherry says, oh, well, I guess if I ever get this game, I'll test it for myself. I'm just curious if the scanner would reach. Uh-oh, I missed something. GG, can you test to see if the scanner will reach to scan the boxes on the wrapping machine? Or do you have to move them to the counter to be able to scan them? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. We'll give that a shot. We'll give that a shot. Sorry that I missed it. Sorry that I missed it. You got lost in the, uh, the, the Streamlabs chat there. Sorry about that. All right, an Italian bread, an Italian loaf, and a biscuit cake. All right, we'll do this. We'll go Italian loaf. Italian bread. Oh, don't know what happened there. And a biscuit cake. Let's come over here, grab another biscuit cake. Another gingerbread man. Got the gumdrop button. Yes, sir, the gumdrop button. Now, if we go over here and go... Clickety clickety. Clickety clickety. Look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! Sherry's like, yeah, yeah, why do twice the work? <laughs> Good thinking. Oh, you knew the answer, Mike? You did, you did. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and that's coming for tomorrow. So we're going to have uh, two episodes tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have. Uh, in the morning, we're going to be having a uh, Lumberjacks Dynasty at my usual time at 10 a.m. So that's 12 noon Eastern. And we'll also be having at 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we'll be having the Trader's Life Simulator where you will get to see the name of the store that uh, I've updated it to. Look at you, sir. You want Italian bread and a French bread. That's not Italian. And I think you said a French bread, right? And a biscuit cake? Yeah, biscuit cakes right here. Nice. You can just reach over the counter and grab them. Woo! Yeah, I like that. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. No, no, and that's the thing. You know, that, that's one step extra. That That's an easy three to four seconds right there. Just going click, 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 click. And you can just grab that and go pip, 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 and on to the next. I like it. I like it. Yeah, you've seen them three times today. Yeah, no, I'm uh, okay. So honestly, I'm taking a whole bunch of pictures. I'm trying to figure out exactly how many models are in game. <laughs> uh, this guy's already been in again uh, once today. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So an oat cookie, a French bread, and a patchki. All right. Oat cookie, patchki. I think you said a French bread, right? Yep. 
French bread is popular today. Nice. Yeah, let's go and make a quick day. 600 or 1800 hours, 6 p.m. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll just pull this one out. The reason why I'm doing that is that way I can fill up these shelves to the top and I have the extras over here on the side. Either they'll be over here or they'll be over here. Heck, soon they're going to be on here. <laughs> You know, uh, keep me. Mm -hmm. Ah, getting off my feet. Been a long day. Hard working. Hardly working. Working hard. And, oh, why, well, hello, sir. What can I do for you? Oh, your hair matches your pants. Keep going. Uh, a gingerbread man, an Italian loaf. Okay. And an oat cookie. Oh, even better, sir. Uh, do I have an Italian loaf up there? No, I don't. We'll pick an Italian loaf. And we'll make it part of the family on the counter. And here we go. You didn't rob me while I had my back turned, did you? Just saying, you look like a bug. Always say that when they leave the store, though. I haven't had time to watch any of the videos that have come out over the weekend yet, Mike. But I have them all queued in my watch later list to catch up on. Nice, Sherry. Nice. I will adopt that procedure in my next Let's Play. I don't blame you at all, Rock and Roller. If you paid attention to mine, I think towards the end of it, I was scanning on the boxing station. Were you? Yeah, I watched your video today. Oh, hold on. I I did about the last eight minutes of it, though. I was uh, on speaker pillow. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, tired. I had to take a nap. Actually, didn't call it a nap. Call it more of a closed-eyed power meditation. Uh, Baguette, Grey Bed, and Patsky. All right. Uh, Baguette. And we want a French bread. Uh -huh, mon ami, a French bread for me. Oh, wait a minute. That was a Grey Bread. He did not want French. He is not French. He's just having a downer day. He wants the Grey Bread. And nobody loves me. And the Patsky. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, come on. We, we still got 30 seconds to serve this guy. Nice. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Ugh. One sec. Gotta blow the nose. There we go. Ah, sinuses are much cleared. Much more cleared. Ah, we had your twin came in. Not even like 20 minutes ago. He was wearing a different pair of pants, though. Uh, Bishkit cake. Uh, oh, I always like making a small chat with you folks. Mm, thank you. Come again. Uh, might as well keep this uh, tray filled. Since we're getting close to the end of the day, we might as well get this gentleman working on some uh, some orders. Seven hundred eighty-five dollars, folks. Seven hundred eighty-five dollars. Woohoo! Maybe the one I did yesterday for release on Wednesday. I don't remember. I recorded them back to back. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's the hardest part of, uh, of uh, uh, recording ahead of time like that. You end up forgetting what happened in one episode, and you end up getting the things all mixed or uppered. Uh, well, it's a good thing that we're doing Bakery Simulator, because, I mean, things get mixed up all the time anyway. Remember, you can take an egg and turn it into a bread, but you can't take a bread and turn it into an egg. Alright, 
7 p.m. Right? No, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. in the evenings, and we got some work to do, Lucy. We got some work to do. <coughs> Come on, we can take at least one more customer before I end the closing. Come on, one more customer. Using the microwave again, dude? Oh, I see. You're softening the butter. Okay, okay. You're all forgiven. Thought he was taking a lunch break there for a second. And you know what? Just so he's got something different to do, we'll get him to do a baguette. Now, uh, just in case the developer happens to be watching, I got a couple suggestions. Um, for example, uh, have a flashing red box on any of the items that uh, you have less than um, five or sorry under 10 just you know just a little like this red or the this bar here that the the stop guide in the front of those trays there you can make those so that way they flash red and that would be awesome so that way we know oh goodness we had better start uh, putting an order in uh, that type of deal so we might as well make an italian loaf well, I guess the store is going to close for the day. Nobody's coming in. Eh, we'll hold it to 2,300 hours just in case. And I think we can do one more Italian bread, and then we can work on the rest on the Italian loaf after. Oh. It's all. It is again. I want you to stay where you was. Always miss clickings. Always miss clickings, indeed. Come on. Come on. We can go there. Thank you. Do one more of those. There we go. That's quite a loud mixing machine we got there. All right. We're going to do the world a favor. We're going to close up shop. There we go. Ha! Ah. We no longer have to worry about being voluntold and what we're making right at this moment in time. Oh, you betcha. You betcha, Max. You have yourself a good one. Enjoy your dinner, my man. Enjoy your suppers. There we go. What do you think? We can get one more baguette in there. I think we can get one more baguette. And I don't mean like one baguette. I mean like one more tray of baguettes. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Oh, shoot. Next time I go into this order here machine, I'll show you something else uh, for the developers that I'm thinking of requesting. Thinking of requesting. Thanks for hanging out, Max. I hope, like you said, I hope you had yourself a wonderful Easter weekend, man. I uh, do, I do, I do. Enjoy the Easter Monday with whatever little hours you have left in it. Okay, so let's get the uh, bigots put away, right? Yes, bigots. Now, I don't think we can fit one more in there, so we'll start working on the Italianos. Hmm. Sounds like my brother's home. Just let his dog out. Oh, here's his... <laughs> She's been out at my parents' place for about... Uh, oh... Three weeks, I think. Something like that. But yeah. She went for a visit out on the acreage. Got herself some run around time. You know, only having like a 30 by 30 backyard isn't uh, very much for a large golden retriever like her she is. So she needed to have some good run time. So she went out there. And she had herself a good time. Brother brought her back home this weekend. And so she's uh, feeling a little protective of the property here right now. So she'll go out there. And if a leaf even blows the wrong way, she'll tell it off. Oh, dang it. I did it again. Grr. Okay, so basically, you see how we have two trays of gray loaves here, and we want another two trays? I have to order them individually here. G skill. Very nice. Uh, what am I using in here? I have DDR3 in here because it's like an eight year old machine, uh, and I think it's uh, Rippers. I think it's uh, Jaw Rippers or something like that, I think it's called. Alright, so what I'm thinking here is we need to have this these menus here shrunk over just a little bit so we can get an arrow button to the left and an arrow button to the right. And then when you click on the right button, you go 
up and it'll tell you plus one, plus two, plus three, four, five, six, whatever it is. And you can go, oh, I didn't want to do six. I only wanted to do four. You can then go down to in order to get the right amount that you want. So that's my large suggestion for quality of life for what I've seen in this game so far. That and uh, we really got to start getting some of those lady models going on. It takes two to make a baby. So we'll do another gray bread. Oh shoot, did I just do an Italian loaf? Wow, that's all right. It's worth it. They'll sell. Uh, Mike says, that may come. I have two sticks, 32 gigs. Might get another to make 64 later. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, if I remember right, though, be careful with that because there could be some applications that you start getting over 32 gigs. It starts having a bit of a problem. All right, so how many guys? One, two, three, four. I think we can fit five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we can fit five of those. Oh, that microwave every time gets me every time. But it's Easter. We got to get at least the chocolate injector and the chocolate heater. We want to be able to do them. You have a two-stick kit and a four-stick kit. I build computers for others, and I am a PC tech. I'm just treating myself this time. Very nice, Mike. Very nice indeed. For all the hard work that you do, you need to relax once in a while, have some downtime, be able to play any game that you like from Star Citizen all the way through to The Simpsons, if you know what I mean. All right, we'll order one more uh, gray breads, and then it's a French loaf, and then it's going to be a couple of bun glazes. Then we get to work on buying new equipment. Yay! Jeez. 128 gig. Jeez, man. Yeah, Mike, from now on, you're hosting anything that's dedicated servers. You're going to get yourself on that beta Starlink. <laughs> oh, your telecom provider there isn't uh, hooping us over here. You have a good computer, now you just need a good internet provider, you know what I mean? Uh, uh -huh, we need some more that. First rod, please, first rod. That's gonna be the last one that we make before we make some more of these beautiful bun glazes. Yum, 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 yum. You haven't had any games yet? Or issues with any of the games yet? Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Still on the 9th gen and the 3000 series boards. Ah, gotcha, Mike, gotcha. I'm on the G, I'm on the Z87 MSI. I'm sporting a 4770K. I do have it turned into turbo mode through the BIOS, and that's uh, uh, so I'm, I'm running the max capacity of what the system can do. Uh, there are some games that this just machine is just it's like, yeah, this game isn't optimized. You're not going to have a good day today, G. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's pull the trigger on some of that new equipment we were looking for. The chocolate heater. The ching, the chocolate injector. Cha ching. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, uh, let's see what that affords us to make now. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got sausage bread now. We got the sausage coming in. Woo -hoo! Isa, how you doing? You don't speak computer language. No? Ones and zeros? Well, a zero and a one is one. A zero and a zero is zero. A one and a one is eleven. And a one and a zero is ten. <laughs> That's computers. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I gotcha. I know what you're saying, though. So you're, you're, you use the NVIDIA, uh, so you play through the GeForce experience? Pretty cool. I've actually never done that. I've always uh, ran my games from their EXE files. Oh, these look pretty. These look very pretty. Good job, Master Baker. Good job indeed. I'm waiting on Mike or Mike to build or buy me a sweet PC for free. This coming from the guy that's built his last four computers plus his kids. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure, Bone. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Oh, that's that's true. Your Linux operating system, right, 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 right. But you know, for being a tech, 
you gotta be proficient on both, you know what I mean? Alright, Gigi's taking the... This is the belt that I put around my leg for this heating pad. Uh, heating pad, I don't want to get DVT, or uh, sorry, I don't want my legs to get DVT, deep vein thrombosis, so... Gotta take the heating pad off and start stretching up my legs a little bit. What the heck is that? Oh. Was that one of your toys, puppy girl? Was that one of your toys? I did not see it there. I'm sorry. You're looking at me like, is it time? Is it time, Dad? Can we play? <laughs> Let's grab another one of them Nest sausage breads. And we can make some biscuit cakes. Mmm. Or bun glazes. I forgot we gotta finish that uh, row up here as well. And we probably can build one more biscuit cake, too. Hmm. Very nice. I like being ahead of the game. I like being ahead of the game indeed. Ah, nice, I see. Used to be a tech support for the mobile devices. It was really funny because I was sporting a basic phone at the time and I never used a smartphone. I was cross-trained uh, with uh, TELUS Mobility here in Canada as long or as, as long as, as, uh, as well as uh, AT&T um, Wireless. And then AT&T sold to Singular. So I was doing AT&T Legacy, Singular Wireless, and Canadian TELUS Mobility all at the same time. I was a liaison between the Canadian and the American departments for the um, the renting of cell towers. And so if there was any issues between any of the contracts or anything else, I had to go through and add up all the amount of allotted times that all the calls had gone through on certain days and stuff and then come up with the overage on the bills. Really boring job. Really, really, really boring because, I mean, the computer did 95% of it. I just had to put in all the different access codes and stuff for the computer to do the calculations with. It was, uh, yeah, probably one of the most boringest jobs I've ever done in my life. Paid okay, but it didn't pay all that great. It paid okay. Yeah, no doubt, Mike. You're, you're tapped out after the purchase of, let's see, oh, the home renovations, the, you know, <laughs> all that fun stuff. Uh, you also have the Windows installation on this rig and under a separate partition. Oh. Uh Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You double dipping is what you're doing, man. Good on you. All right, let's make some of these beautiful bun glazes. Yum, 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 yum. Bun glaze, bun glaze down at the bottom here. Yep. Mmm, bun glaze. You were at the AT and T Mobile. Yeah, no, so I was, like, through a call center, so... I was there during the Katrina. That was freaky. I got called to the floor to help out, and... Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard to tell people that I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I can't drop somebody else's call to the police department or 911 because you two are having an emergency. It doesn't work that way. And, uh, yeah, I got called to many different things, but I totally understand that these folks were just terrified of what was going on at the time. That was, that was something else. Uh, we ended up, um, I ended up calling the um, the assistant director of the building and, and told them shut the phones down, calm these people down in the call center, get their heads straight, so we can get through it because we were just getting over thousands of calls a minute. It was just crazy. Yeah, but uh, on, oh, okay, so I see you don't have it partitioned out. You just got it completely separated on an SSD. Nice. I love those M2s. I love them. After seeing what my brother can do with uh, with his computer now, with that M2, I don't think uh, anybody should have anything but an M2 uh, running their uh, their OS, at least. Uh, all right, so those bun glazes are done. Let's continue on with our sausage. And sausage bread, please. Sausage. And then after we uh, get the sausage filled up, we'll come over here and we'll take a look and see what we got for uh, ingredients. We want to make sure everything's over 30. Yeah, I love my job. Uh, I was living uh, out in the island at the time, Vancouver Island. Fantastic weather all the time. Being at sea level, oh, it was amazing for my uh, chronic pain condition. But uh, I, uh, I tell you... See what uh, life brings me here in the future. If I can afford it, I would definitely be back on the island once again. I mean, you know, I want to be out in the middle of the boonies in the rural areas of Nowheresville. And I am a happy, happy camper. Give me a greenhouse. Give me a grow box. And give me some time and some seeds. And I will provide the water, love, and care, and attention for those plants. And I will grow them up to have wonderful meals. 
And welcome back, Jeremy. Welcome back. I hope that you had yourself a wonderful dinner this evening. I made an amazing stir fry. I'm actually still tasting it on my lips. Yeah, I'm, I'm tasting a little bit of sweet and sour still on the lips. Uh, I thought for a second there might have been the mustache, but no, it's on the lips. Yeah, let's make another one of these sausage breads, please. Yeah, so my suggestion would be that uh, we can click on as many items as we want, have them make as many as we want, but when the t countertop gets full, filled with cloches, he stops working until you make space. You take out the cloche, you set it down, the item, then he goes ahead and starts making the next one. Keep the same time frames. I think the balance is really good for it as well. And, uh, e. uh But definitely, though, um, in this day and age, I think we need to have some lady models. I honestly think that they, they need to be added to this game for sure. All right, let's go through here. A baguette, Italian bread, Italian loaf, gray bread, French bread, brisket cake, sausage bread, paschi, focaccia. Let's see here. Can we make a focaccia? We don't have a dough roller. All right. How about... All right. Yeah, we got ourselves some eclairs. <laughs> I love my chocolate eclairs. Um, has anybody ever had what's called a Ghostbuster eclair? I love them. So it's like a normal eclair, but then they take the center and they just lay out... Like, the eclair is like twice the height as normal. And the center's just completely crammed, filled with semi-sweet, not overly sweet, semi-sweetened whipped cream. It is so delicious. So bloody delicious. Oh, it is so good. It's like these, but twice as tall, filled with uh, whipped cream. Love them. Love them. Yeah, can't tell me I can't eat three of them in a sitting because that's the minimum. I'll go and get six of them and that'll only last me a day and a half. I hate boring jobs. Insurance claims call center, bill collection call center, factory work. Just not many options around here. My current job is best. Stay at home, mom. I love being a daddy daycare. Stay at home dad was the most fulfilling thing I have ever done in my life. Absolutely loved it. The way they are refusing to add female characters to the game, I'm half afraid when they finally do, there'll just be a woman's head on the same male bodies. <laughs> I wouldn't say that they're... I, I, I can honestly say this. I have never seen them... Um, come out right and say, no, we don't want women in the game. I have not seen that at all. I just think that uh, it's probably just the models were easier just to slowly update from, from the Vegetaria all the way up through to this game here today. So I do know that they are now working on that new factory simulator game, and that is a completely different set of models as well. It's more pixel uh, polygon, sorry, it's more polygonic than it is uh, nice and clean and crisp and clear like this one. Yeah, Mike, how is your back doing, man? You've been taking it easy, I hope, right? Yeah, Mike Lad, what'd you do? What'd you do? Did you make anything sweet? I, I still have a quarter of my batch of homemade Nanaimo bars that you inspired, dude, with your toffee. I still have a quarter batch left in my freezer. I've uh, been very good. I've been having uh, one every night with my last hot chocolate because I cut them up into two by two squares. Well, two by three-ish uh, squares. And uh, loving it. Da, 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 loving it. Uh, let's do another eclair. Uh, my Windows 10 PC is an Athlon 2 X4640 uh, with an AMD Radeon 5570. That'll get the job done. Cherry says he did, though, when he was in stream and I asked. He said, no, it's a uh, meme between him and the other dev because a guy asks every day to add women. Really? Was that in my stream? Oh, hold on. You were not talking to a developer. I have yet to have a developer come into my stream and speak. There's only one developer. The designer is the gentleman's brother. Anybody else that you've had come into my stream that has spoken has been a community manager of the uh, volunteer uh they're not mod squad they yeah it's it's all 100 percent volunteer work from them so uh really 
Uh, unless you hear it from an actual developer, uh, the developer's name is Dibor, D-B-O-O-R. Unless you hear it from that person, I would not take it as gospel. Um, yeah, that's not a manager. That's a community manager through a volunteer position. But, uh, I uh, I end up reaching out to the actual developer. Uh, was it last night or the night before? I can't quite remember because, you know, sleeping for three hours a day kind of makes days kind of meld together. But I did mention that uh, there needed to be a distinction. Are they an office manager? Are they a program manager? Are they a project manager? Are they a business manager? <laughs> you know, it's like the proper term is community manager. So that way there can be no confusion in the public. And I did see that they did make the change in the actual Discord itself as well. So that is awesome. That's a step in the right direction. But as for the uh, female characters, uh, I have not heard personally, but I have not personally asked either. So. Uh, I will be more than happy to do so. Uh, tomorrow morning, I have a phone call that I have to attend to at 8 a.m. my time. Um, but after that phone call, a lot of things should be a lot clearer, and I'll be able to have a little bit more of a, a forward direction, and then I can uh, reach out and and see what uh, see you know from the developer side. Uh, but I believe the guy is supposed to be on a week break. I really don't want to bug him if he's on a week break doing so much work that you know i don't want to add more stress to his life right now you know that's i think maybe we'll give him another week yeah I'll, I'll reach out to him on the 15th then for anything along those lines i'll just keep using the the discord there to put stuff in and let that uh, uh let that panda feller there take and uh do it take care of it i love the glares oh the glares are just so good so good I mean, who can go wrong with an eclair? I mean, how can you not have a smile on your face when you have an eclair in your hand? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's make sure we got 30 of everything again. Oh, one, two, three. Three, two. We always want to make sure we got at least 30 of everything in here. All right, down to 380. That's not a bad day, if you ask me. Come on, come on, get in your hole. All right, so I think we are now done with the eclairs. Let's see what we can make next. Uh, we couldn't make the polka, right? Nope. Can we make banana bread? Nope. Can we make a bread brick? Nope. Can we make a bun glaze? Hold on. Uh, I think we did. Yes, we did, so... Oh, wait a minute. Eclairs and chocolate snacks are two different things. Wait a minute. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. chocolate. Okay. We'll see what the eclairs look like. Make sure that they're different. Nice, Sherry. I make uh, sour cream donuts myself, personally. I like the old-fashioned sour creams. I make those at home, but lately, lately, I've been on a big churro kick lately. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of cinnamon, but uh, yeah, uh, I've had the deep fryer out for my making fries and things like that. Oh, sorry, my hand's having an issue here. There we go. I love having an auto DPI mice. It is so nice. With a system like that, just reach in your reclining chair and play whatever you want. <laughs> Press that back. Yeah, that's very true, Mike Lad. Mike, yeah, you got it. Yep. You know what you need? You need one of them there wireless uh, mice, uh, uh, wireless mice and uh, keyboard. I would grab my keyboard, but let's see, it is. Yeah, she's buried with a bunch of stuff put on top of it. Uh, I don't think I want to pull that out and have everything fall on top of me and you guys. And as much fun as that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not wreck it. Uh huh. So that, so I'm guessing that uh, these uh, chocolate snacks are pretty much close to the Ghostbusters that I was talking about. Because these are eclairs. Those are chocolate snacks. So these are just probably chocolate covered donuts, and these are eclairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing there, Mike. Either that, or you can get yourself a, a reclining. Um, uh, uh, desk chair. You always do that too. But 
it would be a very nice quality of life item and make the game continue on more uh, smoother if I had the ability to click on please make seven eclairs and then here we go one two three four five and then six I think maybe six items we can get six cloches on here I don't know let's find out let's see what happens let's go with another eclair Let's see, how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'd be nine. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, maybe there's only five that we can fit on here. Eh, we'll see. Mm, family feud! <laughs> ah, I don't step in between domestic. <laughs> Mike probably deserves it anyway. Let's just see how many we can fit on here. I'll probably just do five, maybe possibly. Yeah, let's just do five for now and see where we're at. No, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, you don't got a chair that can do this, Mike? Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot all about that I got a reclining chair. Ugh. This Henry Miller or whatever it is, Lee Miller, Henry Lee Miller, something like that. This chair is amazing. It's like seven years old and it I, my butt groove isn't even worn into the dang thing yet. But that might have something to do with me constantly standing up and moving around. Like, I know we're about an hour and a half right now. I don't know what time is it. It's, yeah, 7.30 or 7.26 my time. Yeah, I knew we were coming up on an hour and a half with the, the stabby, stabby pains I'm feeling. Hey! Angel, welcome back. Claire's, yes, please. Drools, yeah, I agree with you. I'm there with you. Like I was saying earlier in stream, there, you know, I can't just eat one. I got to go out and buy six, and that still doesn't do me a day and a half. I just uh, go right through them. Uh, we have a. Um, uh, I don't know if it's still open. I haven't had one in so long. Uh, but we have a bakery here that uh, makes an eclair called a Ghostbuster. It's like extra, extra double thick tall, and then the whole center is just this. Lightly semi-sweet whipped cream. Oh, it is so good. Herman Miller, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a Herman Miller. Uh, it's on the bottom of the chair itself. Yeah, I just remember it was Miller something, but yeah, that's what I got. Exactly what this is. I love it. I love this one. All right, so we got five. Can we do another one? What happens if we try doing another one? I want to see maybe he'll throw it over here or if it these interfere. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it was the wife's old chair. Um, uh, she had it, and uh, yeah, she, with her being six foot five, the curvature of the back, even though the back can slide up and down. Uh, actually, you guys can't see that. There we go. That's the down position. That's the up position, right there. Let me just lock it in. But it still wasn't enough for her, for the uh, height-wise. Oh, where did it go? You guys saw that, right? He did the work. He took my ingredients. But we do not have an item. All right. So I'm going to have to test that through... Uh, I'm going to have to probably take my save file, copy it, get rid of it. Oh, okay. It doubled up. It doubled up. Never mind. We're still good. But I do not like that feature. It should just say, sorry, uh, take care of the stuff you got already. And that's just my own personal, personal thoughts. It's not a game breaker. It's not nothing that, you know, I would take to a developer and say, hey, what are you doing? No. You don't do this in the industry. There's reasons why. Yep, yeah, twitchy fingers today, folks. Twitchy, 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 twitchy fingers. Uh, was that the $400 one? I have no idea how much uh, my ex paid for it. Honestly, I, I do not know. When it was in matters of money, it was none of my damn business as far as she was concerned. Yeah, I can't remember what the, this one. 
I'd have to flip the chair upside down after stream there to figure out what the the model is of it. But yeah, no, it's got like this really nice uh, gel style cushion seat. It's it's got like a gel where your your butt bone goes, and then it's raised up with this really plush foam that uh, you squish it, and you feel like you're on a cloud of loveliness. It's 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 an amazing seat. Uh, I, I, honestly, if I ever have to get another chair, so say this one dies, gets broken, or you know stolen or something, I would be definitely getting another one. All right, so we got the oat cookies. We got gingerbread men. Uh, can we do meringue pie? No. Nope. How about a bowl cake? No. Nope. Cake and hill. No. Nope. Donuts. We can make donuts. Incoming shelf. We're gonna have more goodies. Woo -hoo! I really wish that I could make six at a time though, and then just pick them up as he's doing them. That'd be nice. Oh, I have no back problems on this one. I mean, I live a life of chronic pain. <laughs> and you'll never see me with the heating pad on my back while I'm in this chair. If I'm going to be using the heating pad, it means I'm not getting out of bed that day. If it's got to go on my back, I'm not getting out of bed. I can't tell the difference between a kidney stone or if uh, I'm just having a bad pain day in my back. If I'm going in uh, spasms type thing. Look at the... Sprinkles! Sprinkles! Oh god. Whoever does the models on here, if this is the developer's brother making all these models... Damn! That gentleman's got talent. Definite talent. Yeah, no, I, I can tell you this. I, I, you know, if I ever had to get another chair, I would be getting the exact same one that I'm sitting on right now. It is such a beautiful thing. I mean, DX Racer could send me a chair i'd try it and if i wasn't nearly as comfortable as this somebody would be getting a giveaway because <laughs> yeah this chair is just amazing yeah like i said this thing's like seven years old um uh, wife used it for about a year and a half at work but it was just it was just too short the back was too short i looked at the chair and there's no way for me to extend the raising bar that's on the back it's just just impossible you can't extend it so um and so she was like well here you take it and then she went and got this uh, uh oversized for larger people chair and she's gone through like four of those in five years that uh, i mean i've been using this one for like five years uh, drink crystal light and you yeah, know no that's that's a fallacy uh, I, um i actually get kidney stones from potassium yep Potassium in me, I, my body doesn't um, doesn't process potassium. It's all part and parcel to do with the adrenals uh, that I have, all the adrenal issues. So <laughs> I can't, I can't with the all twelve hundred dollars chairs shake my head. I'm going to sleep now. Night, mommy bear. <laughs> yeah. But you get what you pay for. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, I don't know how much she paid for this one. Honestly, I mean that's like seven, eight years ago, and like I said, it's you know when it came to orders or uh, when it came to money, it was you know yeah. her famous words. Ah, it's none of your damn business. Okay, dokie. As long as my bills are paid, I don't care. <laughs> Mommy bear rolling her eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait until you sit on one yourself, though, Mommy bear. You might have a $2,400 bill coming at you here, Mike. <laughs> All because Mike needs a chair for his back. And Mommy bear didn't believe us. And the next thing you know, she gets on a Henry Miller and she's just all down for it. Uh, maybe it's different for you, but I cleaned out uh, four potential stones and haven't had one in years. Uh, let's see. I just went through four. I just went through passing of three stones since October. And basically, I've had uh, two major surgeries. I've gone in countless times to have stones broken up. It's just, it's my way of life, unfortunately. You know, I turned uh, 20 years old and I've had pretty much kidney stones ever since chronically. It's uh, my body is under so much stress due to the chronic pain that 
none of the internal organs work so well. Uh, I drank water and only water for a year and change to satisfy my doctors that oh it's nothing that you can do about it is there like no I can't even take your damn citric acid pills because it's citric acid and I'm allergic to the stuff ascorbic acid kills me yep and that's exactly mine are unavoidable my body does not process potassium at all uh, it's just got something to do with the ions or something like that and I just keep on rocking and rolling. Just keep on moving forward as best as I can. Rocking and rolling. It's because I see your name. I see your name and it's getting stuck up here. It's starting to drill its way in like a worm into an apple. Just going through and just, just burrowing in itself deep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the crystal lights. If it's got an aspartame or anything. Um, the, only thing, the only fake sweetener I actually really enjoy, believe it or not, was the stevia that I grew out of my garden. And that was... Uh, that was my big thing. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I I did a lot of the sweet teas with the, the stevia in that as well, trying to see, if, you know, what we could do to help the stones. But there was nothing. There was just absolutely nothing. Do not have the equipment. How about cake? Can't do it. How about cupcake? No. Uh, pastry? Yeah, we got some pastries coming now. Woohoo! Look at our shells starting to fill themselves up, peeps. Look at this. Well, since we got that finished, let's come over here and just make sure that we still have ingredients. We got $380 on us. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One. And we'll need it. And keep on rolling down the list. Make sure we got 30 or more. All right, we're good. Down the 250. I'm glad we didn't purchase any other machines, that's for sure. Oh, look at those. These look like those Danish pastries. Oh, those are good. Oh, we're going to spoil our customers tomorrow, that's for sure. Oh, that's a good idea there, Christy. Uh, nope, we can't. We got to save at the end of day. So once we get everything all built up, built up, piled high so we can watch it fly... Let's see, did we get any new signs for buying the new chocolate equipments? No. That'd be neat too. I would love to see the store, um, the walls in that get fill, uh, like slowly fill in with um, the pictures and such as you build up your business. Not a time game, but as you buy new equipment and offer more items for sale, that would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty neat. Now, once again, not a game breaker, just an immersion thing. Just fully an immersion thing. Sherry says, I can't stay up too much later. Gotta be up at 2 a.m. because hubby decided to stay home tonight and head out to work four hours away in the morning. No worries. That is totally, totally, totally acceptable in anybody's realm. Family first. Always, Sherry. You have yourself a wonderful evening tonight. Enjoy the last final minutes that you can with the hubby before he goes off to work. Because if he's out of town, he's going to be gone for a little while. I feel for you. I know what it's like. I used to be 21 days out and uh, 7 days home myself. So it was always good to come home. Always good to come home. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Rascal. Happy Easter Monday to you. Happy Easter Monday to you. I hope you are doing well, and I hope your climate has been nice and warm. Today was beautiful out. I went outside there after I got off my phone call from the last, uh, uh, in the morning stream that we did, and uh, went over and talked to a neighbor I hadn't seen since probably the summer of last year. So I was outside, I asked her how her husband was, and she said that he had passed away in August. I was like, <laughs> no way. Uh, wow. Um, I'm very happy that we were going out there and uh, taking care of their their front uh, sidewalk with the, the power sweeper that we have. My brother's very kind. He does uh, two neighbors to the west and one neighbor to the east, and then there's an alleyway. So he just goes down to, uh, we'll call it Shane's place, two doors down, and then he just takes and hits the snowblower all the way down and pushes it all into the alleyway because there's a whole bunch of deep, deep, Beep, beep, ruts and potholes and everything in there. So he just fills them in so it gets packed down and gives a nice smooth surface. Yeah, GERD. Yeah, that's, that's my diagnosis, GERD. 
gastroesophageal reflux disease. And that would be it. Next up, uh, I've tried pan Panzaprazole. I've tried many different uh, things. Believe it or not, the best thing for me is Dr. Pepper. The, the mixture of lavender, vanilla, and uh, I can't remember what the other thing was that uh, the doctor said was probably what was helping me out. Oh, all right. Uh, the acid um, ratio in, inside the soda is probably what was uh, doing it for me. Folks, I've been going for about an hour and 40 minutes here. I'm just going to stand up and turn off that light. Uh, here, you guys, like I said, don't you see my belly. Hold on. Oh. Hold on, I'm just going to move this heating pad. I don't want to roll over. All right, that's better. That's better. That's better indeed. All right, what were we making again? Ah, pastries. That's right. Now, is it pastry or is it pasty? What the heck is a pasty? Besides something that goes over a, a lady's areolas. You betcha, Sherry. Sleep well. Enjoy that last bit of time that you get. Because it's going to be heartbreaking until he comes home again. Oh, we're glad to hear it, Rascal. We're glad to hear it. Hope you had yourself a wonderful uh, Easter weekend and was filled with many, many chocolates. Don't forget to brush your teeth because, well, dentists are expensive here in Canada. $790 just to pull a tooth. Huh. Let me just go dip some pliers and some uh, battery acid for a little bit because I got a battery that can do that now and uh, I'll get those things disinfected. Still trying to convince your doctors that muscle spasms and inflammation are symptoms, not a diagnosis. Uh, small delicate dessert like mini cakes. Ah, that's a pasty. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so for me, I was diagnosed in the end through exclusion with uh, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, causing hypertension, adrenal surges, tachycardia, as well as I got some like other things that come from it, skin disorders, you know, stuff like that, eczemas, you know, that type stuff. Nothing really big. Um, so yeah, they gave me the diagnosis of the chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia because of chronic fatigue syndrome, less than 1% of that population gets the adrenal surges like I get from pain. So that's why they called it that. However, I was actually supposed to be going to a Mayo Clinic for a preliminary diagnosis for something called cramp fasciculation syndrome. And basically, that's where they constantly are undergoing cramps and stuff in their arms, their feet their legs and it's like wow that is that is actually very similar to what i go through however it's not a recognized disorder in canada because there's not enough people who have that particular uh, uh disorder so if i did get diagnosed with it it's not going to help me in any way other than just give something else for the doctor to run off of and a muffin can we do we can do muffins yes Love it. Love that. They're going to sell so much goodies. Mm -hmm. good, 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 goodies. Very popular for the Finnish folks who live in Upper Michigan and England. Ah, oh, gotcha. A past... A pa uh. Okay, let's say this correctly. A pasty. Okay, so pasties is what goes over ladies' areolas. Got it. And a pasty is a handheld sandwich made with hamburger steak, potatoes, carrots, onions, and rutabaga. Hand held for money. Oh, oh, what am I thinking? I've had Cornish pasties and pastries. So they're, pa they're pasties. I've been calling them Cornish pastries for ages. And now you're coming and telling me that they're called pasties? Oh, man, I love Cornish pasties. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. That's why I grow Swedes in my garden. A uh, Swede is like a giant-sized rutabaga. Like, giant. Yeah, see, I've always called them pasties. Or pasties. Or, yeah, yeah, Cornish pasties. That's what I've always called them. I never knew that, that was the same thing. <laughs> you learn something new every day. You gotta keep on learning, otherwise you're gonna stagnate. Yeah, no. Um, there was a restaurant. I can't remember the name of it. That was up in uh, 
uh, up north uh, towards Fort McMurray there. Can't remember the name of it. Oh, no, sorry. It was uh, Smoky Mountain Lodge. That's what it was, Smoky Mountain Lodge. That's where I could get it. And uh, they would just so good. Just nom, 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 nom. Yes, please. All day, every day, I will take one of those for my lunch. I mean, and they are filling because there's like a cup of everything in there. Um, there's like a cup of uh, carrots, there's a cup of onions, there's a cup of um, minced meat, there's a cup of potatoes, it's a cup of sweet, it's just loaded. Oh, okay, the pronunciation they're using, so the pasties, okay, and pasties, okay, got it. For the little desserts is a pasty, and for the, uh, the Cornish pasty, it's a pasty, got it. Uh, I will forget. You guys will be reminding me in like three weeks from now. I'm be like, gee, you had it right. Did you forget? Uh, the rutabagas? Bitter? Um, hell, I pickle them. Uh, I mean, I pickle rutabagas. Well, well, sweets and everything else. Oh, nice. Nice. You make them every year? Hmm. You know, if I were ever to do a uh, let me view your kitchen tour <laughs> uh, uh, type thing, that would be awesome to do one day to say, okay, guys, I'm going to go from east or west to east or something like that and just, you know, hit up all the fine folks that we know in the community and do meals. You know, I'll tell you what, you do one meal for me, I do one meal for you, two night thing, and then, you know, move on to the, to the next road trip and stuff. I would love it. I would love to do something like that. Sharing recipes, sharing knowledge, and sharing good times with everyone. That's, uh, if you listen to the lyrics of my uh, opening song, Get Back Into The Game, it's like, uh, one of the lyrics in there is like, basically, you know, there's nothing I'd rather do than come out and hang out with you. Yeah, it is true, you know, it's like, it's, that's why that's one of the songs that, you know, is, well, that is the main reason of the main song. You'll make a video? Oh, do it, do it, Lisa, do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could, I could get a beef type, I could get or a pork type, but I've never seen a chicken type of the Cornish pasties at the Smoky Mountain Lodge. Oh my god, they were just so good. So bloody good. So bloody good indeed. Now, we only have $250 left. I think we're going to keep that money in reserves. Uh... I don't know. Maybe we can fit one more French bread in there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can fit one more French bread in there. Actually, before we do that, do I have two, three? Okay, let's go over here and do this. Uh, oh, the French bread, please, s'il vous plaît. Socle bleu, you have some French bread for me. Oh, mon ami, it is so good. Yeah, I know you know a few things about cooking now, Kyle. Or Carl. Kyle? Carl? Ugh. Philly! <laughs> oh, a Philadelphia cheesesteak? I have yet to have a real Philadelphia cheesesteak from Philadelphia. I mean, I want to try it, you know, um, without and whiz. I know how to order it. I know how to order them. I want it without with whiz. I think we can get another sausage in here. Let's 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 see if we can play with some sausage. And then we'll go top up our ingredients list. Um I don't know. I, I mean I really enjoy the food that I cooks in that, but uh yeah, I'd have to tell you that over the last two and a half years my, my body has degraded pretty bad. Um in a way, it's kind of also my fault. Uh, I have purposely been wasting my muscles down uh, on average. Wit whiz is so good. No, that's mean without is like without onions and with whiz. And the only reason why I would get one without onions is just for the very first one, and then after that, I'd probably get one with uh, with whiz. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, I like uh, I like trying things in uh, an original format first, and then adding extra onto each time I try another one to find the one that I really really like. You betcha, Mike. You gotta let the puppy out before he takes a whiz. He was hearing us. Um, I make my own homemade Philly, but I've been told that it's not the the skirt steak cut flavors and stuff that they use, and that I really gotta try one. 
I've also been told I really have to go to Maine and try their uh, lobster rolls. And I have to try them in two different ways. I have to try one that's toasted, and I have to try one that's not toasted. And, oh, uh, sorry, four different ways. One with, with mayonnaise toasted and without, and one without mayonnaise toasted with, or toasted or not toasted. So basically four of them together. And I'm going, how much does each one cost? And they're like, oh, yeah, it's only $18 American each. Like, oh, my God, that's like, I could eat for three weeks for that amount of money. <laughs> Uh, we get a Philly-style pizza here, but is missing... Oh, but you're missing the, the New Jersey bagels. Gotcha, gotcha. But you missed the, the, the Jersey bagels. Ah. See, the uh, the old bakery that we used to go to, unfortunately, they closed down. Aww. COVID killed their business, unfortunately, but my God, they had some amazing bagels. They made them in-house they had this giant vat thing that they uh that they put uh da, 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 da. like they would drop these hand rolled rings into like i've never seen anybody be able to take dough with one hand well each hand grab a line of dough roll it out flip it in their hands around their hands roll it again and then just drop it into this water it is crazy how fast this family could make like 60 70 bagels and i was waiting for like my usual order just to pick it up and you'd watch them rip off like 60 bagels in that time it's like wow you like the toasted butter and mayo's yourself on the bagels i am a cream cheese lover when it comes to the bacon or to the bacon to the bagels um i like strawberry cream cheese with dehydrated strawberries on them and i also like um blueberry cream cheese as well with it uh just to make sure yeah we can't do the polka okay we can't do it because of the fruit slicer dough roller Let's go top ourselves up. Alright, let's get up to the top again because there are no flowers in the bow. Uh, 19, 29, 35, 5. Okay, muffin case is $10. It's $2 per muffin case. We better be making some good monies on that. All right. Okay, just to double check, we got tons of stuff in stock. Tons and 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 tons. All right, we'll go back. Take a look at the equipment. See what we got left to buy. So, 50, 250. So, 55, 835 so we need another 835 dollars as bonus in our banks uh so yeah we're probably going to have to make a thousand dollars just in order to um, get ourselves to the next level of things but folks i think i'm going to end it here because it's been an hour and 53 minutes so far and as you guys heard my legs are killing me uh, cream cheese here too. Nice angel. I love it. I'm weird. You like your bagels plain? Hey, there's nothing wrong with a plain bagel. If I'm running late, I don't mind uh, just grabbing a bagel right off the counter and uh, out of the 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 the, the, the butter the, the bread the bed box bread box deep, 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 the bread box folks and uh, running with that. No, GG hoagie buns. Uh, oh, oh, I understand. Okay, I got you. I got you. So the the buns that they use for the uh, uh, the lobster rolls. Gotcha, gotcha. Welcome back, Mike. Uh, I don't get the green peppers, though. Can't stand that. It permeates the whole meat. Oh, and I'm a huge fan of the peppers. I love them. Oh, well, thank you, Lisa. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so very much for taking the time to kick back, relax, unwind with me. Uh, I've enjoyed my evening so far. I hope you folks have yourselves a wonderful evening as well. Uh, may everybody have their pillows bring the dreams that they wish for. And as always, I wish you a great afternoon, morning, evening, or good night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ooh, whipped cream cheese, room temperature, and cool whip together and dip strawberries in it. It's awesome. I make an ambrosia like that. You throw in a little bit of the, uh, some uh, pineapple shredded up, a little bit of uh, maraschino cherries, 
Uh, can't remember. There's a couple other things that I add into it as well. I'd have to take a look at the recipe book, but oh my god, it is so good. But yeah, folks, that's it for me. We'll see you guys next time. You've all made me hungry. You guys take care now.